<sighs> Anyone stay up late partying for St. Paddy's last night? Well, not me. I was up late making this video for you, so be sure to leave it a like. Hey, what's going on fellow collectors? The channel is If Sports Cards. My name is Ian and I am your humble host of the Top 10 Sports Card Polls of the Week presented by PSA and Whatnot. To get on this week's list, it took a poll of $4,500. We have a lot of stuff to cover, a lot of cool sports cards to show you guys. But before we get into it, a word from our sponsor, PSA. As I already said a couple of times now, they have five amazing specials for the month of March, which you can see here. And the first four are exclusive to PSA Collectors Club members. And if you have not yet done so, I invite you to become one. They have two options for you. They have a standard tier for $99 per year and a premium tier for $199 per year and that includes 12 months access to card ladder pro also over the weekend i took advantage of their phone app submission process which i have to admit it went pretty seamless i'm a big fan of this and this wemby looks really good so hopefully that one comes back a psa 10 for us but as usual we're going to start you off with a few honorable mentions of polls that just weren't quite big enough to make the top 10 list but if you get through watching today's top 10 and you thought you saw a poll that should have been on this list be sure to submit it via the submission process i'll have a link down in the description box and quite possibly a pinned comment as well thank you guys very much i hope you enjoy our first honorable mention this week is a good one it comes from sage the collector who has a channel here on youtube and he was opening 2021 22 select basketball this was an h2 pack there's two cards i'm going to show you but uh the second one's the better of the two check this out oh gee, get out get out it was the gold reflection off of that. <laughs> Holy cow. We got just a plain old fast break of Anthony. Anthony Simons, stop it. No. No, 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 no. That can't be. That can't be. What? That's black. That's black. Holy sh What is, what is happening? What is happening? This is the Jalen Green Rookie Premier Level Black Disco One of One. And I have this at an estimated $2,500 based on what the black, white, and gold One of One sold for as a PSA 10. I'd also guess that the gold RPA would sell for about $750, but this is one of the craziest packs I have ever seen, and this was the most submitted video this week. This pack was in a Hitbox All-Star Basketball subscription box, which is a $272 box that was gifted to Sage the Collector for an honest review. What a moment for Sage and his community. Our second honorable mention comes from Leighton Sports Cards, who break here on YouTube, and Forrest was opening 2023 Bowman University's Best Basketball. This was a Breakers Delight Box. Get the die cut on the back. I'm gonna pull that to the front. Oh my God! Super Fractor Kaylin Clark! Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Damn, dude. Oh my god! Damn. <laughs> oh, shit, dude! This is the Caitlin Clark Buckets Die Cut Superfractor 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $3,500 based on what the Ray Wave out of 25 sold for last week. I had the pleasure of watching Clark play the other weekend up in Minneapolis at the Big Ten Tournament, which Iowa did go on to win, and she is the most talented athlete I have ever seen with my own eyes. Absolutely incredible to watch. Our third and final honorable mention for this week comes from Only Cards, who breaks over on Whatnot, and they were opening 2023 Bowman Chrome Baseball. One of one, Mike Trout Auto. Oh, my God. Oh, you're f***ing with me right now, bro. This is the Mike Trout Iconic Superfractor Auto 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $4,000, which is a guess based on the sale of the Orange out of 25. Interestingly enough, there are 25 players with an Iconic insert in this product, 
but only Trout has an autographed version. And look at what the pack odds were to pull the one of one. Those are some crazy odds. But that does it for our honorable mentions. It is time to get into that top 10 list, but I have a nice little surprise for you. Check out these really cool countdown animations. Let me know what you think. Kicking us off at number 10 this week is Northland Breaks, who break over on the Loop app, and they were opening 2023 Prism Football. Happy Javon Curse, Rashad Penny. Ooh, it, is a gold. it is a gold for the Colts. Uh oh. Come on. Oh! oh! Let's go! Oh! Anthony Let's go, Richardson! Fans! Let's go! Bang! Oh! Out of 10! Oh! Wow! This is the Anthony Richardson Rookie Variation Gold number 9 out of 10, and I have this at an estimated $4,500 based on what this PSA 9 sold for on Alt one month ago. I think many of us are hoping AR5 can stay healthy this season so we can see what he can do with the football. At number 9, we are with Pac-Man, who does break on whatnot, but this was a personal opening on his YouTube channel of 2023-24, Court Kings Basketball, and this was an international blaster box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! That might be one of the biggest cards ever hit in my life. Blank Slate. Wemby. Dude, that's ridiculous. This is the Victor Wembenyama rookie blank slate, and I have this at $5,500, which is right in between the first two sales of this card that took place over the weekend. This is the best card you can pull from these boxes, and these ultra-rare blank slate cards can only be pulled from these international exclusive blaster boxes. Although this is considered a blaster box, these boxes can only be purchased online and started at roughly $130 and now resale for over $200. I'm questioning whether or not this product should be considered retail and whether or not it should be included in this month's retail top 10. I'm leaning towards no, but what do you guys think? At number 8, we are with Filth Bomb Breaks who break over on Fanatics Live and Pat was opening 2023 Absolute Football. Sound the alarm! Oh, filth bomb! Nasty! Gold Kaboom Bryce Young! Oh! That is nasty! Oh my god. This is the Bryce Young Rookie Gold Kaboom number 8 out of 10, and I have this at an estimated $5,500 which is $450 less than what his jersey number Gold Kaboom sold for at the end of January. Surprisingly, that is the only vertical Gold Kaboom of his to sell on any platform so far. At number 7, we are with Free Out Sports, who is a Taiwanese breaker, and they submitted this video via their Instagram page from 2023-24 Donruss Elite Basketball. SSC chooses more. Oh my god, Yong Si Shiro Gadi Chen Yong Si 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 this is the Stephen Curry John Graffs Gold Auto number 9 out of 10, and I have this at an estimated $7,000, which is about $500 less than what last year's version of this card sold for back in October on Golden. I think the vertical design will be preferred by collectors, but if you look closely on this card, the image features Curry shooting over Cleveland Cavaliers' LeBron James. That is pretty cool. At number 6, we are with The Clubhouse who break here on YouTube and they were opening 2023 Topps Chrome Sapphire Formula 1. And Red Auto. Lewis Hamilton to 5! Oh my god! Whoa! Chapeau! Chapeau! Yeah. 
This is the Lewis Hamilton Sapphire Selections Red Auto numbered two out of five. And I have this at an estimated $9,000. And with very limited comps, I have a very roundabout way of getting there. I started with this Hamilton non-auto sale from last week and doubled it to account for this card being numbered to five. Then I looked at other sports Sapphire Selection sales since not a single F1 auto has sold yet. And the autograph version sold for at least double, sometimes as much as six more, although those were typically base versions. At number five, we were with 238 Cards who break over on Fanatics Live and they were opening 2023 Tops 5 Star Baseball. All right, we start. Whoa! One of one, Shohei! What? Let's go! Who has the Angels? One of one, Shohei. Are you kidding Mario me? Mario T! Wow. Can you give me one of the 190s? Yes, oh, I have, Mario! I have, one. I have one. Let's go. There was no time to sweat that one. This is the Shohei Otani Jumbo Prime MLB Logo Patch Auto 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $12,000 based on these three Otani sales from last week, all of which are numbered to 10 or less. There are four 1 of 1s of this design, the others being the Laundry Tag, Team Patch, and Manufacturer Patch, the latter being the only one of the four, to my knowledge, yet to be pulled. At number four, we were with Mojo Break, who break over on Fanatics Live, and Jake was opening 2023 Topps Dynasty Formula One. Oh, snap. Here we go. Oh, Lewis Hamilton. Oh. What a one. Man. No. Oh, my goodness. That's a product here, y'all. This is the Lewis Hamilton Autograph Patch Card 1 of 1, and I have this at an estimated $15,000 based on what the 1 out of 10 sold for over the weekend. For those wondering what this patch is from, look at the UBS logo on his chest, and you will find your answer. At number 3, we were with Mitch's Box Breaks, who break over on Fanatics Live, and they were opening 2023 Prism Football. Woo! True gold for the Texans! They were the cheapy feller. We need a rookie stamp. Oh my God. Stroud! True gold bagger! Last one we hit did 27K and a $29 feller. Sorry, whoever doesn't get it, but one of you 10. Bang! Two out of 10. This is the CJ Stroud Rookie True Gold number 2 out of 10, and I have this at an estimated $23,000, which is a few thousand less than the $26,000 private sale of the jersey number 7 out of 10. This is the second one that they hit, the first being the 4 out of 10 that they pulled back on January 7th, which you heard the breaker say apparently sold for $27,000. At number two, we are with Friar Breaks, who breaks here on YouTube, and he was opening 2023 Topps Chrome Update Baseball, and this was a Breakers Delight box. Matt Swarmer. Here we go. Here we go. Boston Red Sox. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, boys. No way we just pulled that. No way we just pulled Oh my God. Oh my God, Scott. Not a bad card to pull for Friar's debut on the top 10 polls of the week. This is the Masataka Yoshida MLB debut patch one of one. And I have this at an estimated $25,000 based on what Kodai Sanga's version of this card sold for earlier this month. I would consider this to be the third best MLB debut patch behind only Anthony Volpe, which has a $150,000 bounty and to my knowledge has yet to surface, and Jordan Walker, which had a $100,000 bounty and was pulled by a Dave and Adams customer back in early January who bought a box to rip back at home. Unfortunately, there's no video evidence of this poll, and the $100,000 bounty had expired at the end of 2023, which was less than two weeks after he pulled it. 
But now it is time to reveal the biggest card that was pulled last week, and I have to say, the reaction of this breaker was certainly one of a kind. And taking down the number one spot this week is The Break Club, who break over on Facebook, and The Hit Doctor was opening 2023-24 Prism Basketball. And at the start of this video, I want you to watch my guy in the bottom right-hand corner as he's ripping open the packs. He does a little peekaboo. It's pretty cool. Watch this. Put it here. Bro. <laughs> Bro, stop. You can't do that. Bro. Bro, stop. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but stop. <laughs> stop. I'm done. Stop. I'm done. No, stop. You gotta do it, Master Dude, stop. Stop. Bro, no way. Dude, stop. Oh my god! This is the Victor Wembenyama rookie true gold numbered one out of 10. Yes, you heard that right. And I have this at an estimated $100,000. Last week, I referenced the $74,000 bounty that Canadian collector Slab Sharks has for one of these. But I have to imagine if the 5 out of 10 went for $93,000 in China, this card has to do six figures. Given the two black one of ones have already been pulled, this was the biggest card left in the product, and it was pulled in a break that cost Daniel $290 for the spot. Everyone was so overcome with emotion that it took 13 minutes before anyone even considered to check the serial number on the back of the card, and it just so happened to be the jersey match. We have to keep it PG here, but if you would like to see a guy lose his mind along with all of his clothes, after pulling this card, you can visit the link in the description box below, although you'll have to join their Facebook group in order to see it. Congratulations to The Hit Doctor and The Break Club on pulling the biggest card of the week, and congrats to Daniel, who is the proud owner of this card. Hitting a top 10 worthy card like that has to be quite the rush, and I invite you to take your chance with our sponsor, Whatnot. You can get a free $10 towards your first break by signing up using my link in the description box below. And if basketball isn't quite your thing, there's some really cool new products coming out. You got football, baseball, hockey, and soccer on the horizon for the next week. So there's bound to be somebody breaking a product that you would like to open. Thank you to everyone who made this week's list possible. I very much appreciate all the submissions that were received. And if you pull a big card that you think is top 10 worthy, be sure to shout out if sports cards top 10 pulls the week. Rumor has it that it greatly increases your chances of making the show. I don't know. Thank you to PSA and Whatnot for your continued sponsorship of this series. And thank you to the IF fam for your support via the membership program here on YouTube. And last but certainly not least, thank you to the viewers who keep tuning into these every single week. You guys are amazing. Thank you so very much for the support. We will see you again next week on the top 10 sports car polls of the week. Until then, you guys be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.